Hi, I'm Ryan Westbrook, and you're watching Difference Makers, an original content series highlighting current student athletes who are taking their skills and traits home through sports to become difference makers in their corporate fields. Here we are at Quay Tower in Brooklyn Heights, New York, with Joelle Zeleny who is a senior basketball player from Tufts University. You're heading into grad school. Tell us a little bit about that. So I am a senior econ major, entrepreneurship minor, um, and I want to go into the sports business world. And so I was looking into some grad schools um, and I applied to the Columbia Sports Management Program. And so I'm going there next year. You know, one of the best things about being an athlete is that you go through challenges, you go mm -hmm. through adversity, you go through so many different things that prepare you for your next step. What are some of those things that made you the person that you are now and that will make you even better prepared uh, for your next step? Basketball at Tufts has definitely been a lot of ups and downs, like coming in as a freshman, not really getting any playing time, um, and then sophomore year being canceled, and then junior year having to work to get playing time and then dealing with an injury, not getting playing time again this year and then working towards that. There's definitely been a lot of ups and downs um, and positives in this year. So being a captain, having to be positive and lead our team um, towards being the best we could be um, was definitely a challenge, but awesome. Basketball is a team sport. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to play with your point guard, your center, shooting guard, all those different things. How do you pull people together and how do you think that can that skill be used in the corporate setting? Probably the main thing is having a positive attitude and also just really working on each individual relationship, making sure everyone's on the same page, headed in the right direction. And You're a team player. That, that's what that means to me, that you're a team player, that you're helping everyone else get better, even if it doesn't necessarily help you. And that's huge, when you, especially when you talk about the corporate world. How do you make sure that the team is stronger than, than, than yourself? During sports, you always come up with difficult decisions that you have to make. Or do I want to go to the party or do I want to go to the gym? Uh, do I want to study or do I want to do something different? How do you think your decision-making process in, while you were at college can affect you in the corporate world? I think I've learned to manage my time and put a lot of my extra time into basketball and making sure that our team runs successfully. And I think that in whatever corporation I'm a part of or team I'm a part of next that I can take all of those leadership and positive attitude and communication skills to that level. Yeah. When I tore my ACL, I thought it was the end of the world. Mm -hmm. That was a situation in the end. It helped me understand better who I was as a person mm -hmm. and then be able to present myself to others in a better way. What were some of the things that help you, maybe some of the adversities that help you become the person that you are today? The injury I had over the summer um, and in the spring last year, they told me that there was a 50-50 chance that it would heal. So at that point, I was like, my basketball career could be over. I could be done. Luckily, I did everything I could, and it ended up healing. But still, coming back from that and being a big role player last year and then not playing at the start of my season, then I had to fight again, even though I just fought through the injury. You kept fighting, even when things might not have looked as, as promising as as they, as you probably wanted, but you kept fighting. You take that into the real world. Those are qualities that every job uh, will, will absolutely be looking for. One of the other things I have to commend you on is your focus. You already kind of know where you want to go. Where did that come from? Did you have that your entire career? Or is that something that you developed over time? I think it's definitely something I developed over time through all the um, things I've worked through in college. It's kind of made me focus on other things when I was going through those hard times made me realize that there's more to life than basketball, even in the moments when you can't really see that. Yeah. How did you get to that mindset? Because to me, that was probably the hardest thing for me. You work your tail off to get to the point where you're a senior, you're, you're the person that now I'm the captain, all, all these different things. And then you have to start thinking of being a rookie again. Well, I think this summer when I wasn't sure if I'd be able to play this year, I kind of had to start thinking about like, okay, I'll be okay without basketball. Like that injury was kind of a little blessing in disguise um, and definitely helped me see it like, and start thinking about what's next. What are those skills that you see that are super important to your athletic field, but also can be transferable into the work field? Resilience and teamwork um, and definitely and what I want to go into in the sports world, I feel like communication and all that is very necessary um, and definitely will make whatever team I'm on successful. 
and being in a leadership position right now and not, no guarantee of me being in one right after I graduate from grad school, what advice can you give me on whatever corporation or team I enter after? I, I listened and found a mentor, right? So I listened to whatever the captains and certainly the older, the guys on the team said, he'll teach me how to be a professional. He'll teach me the ropes and he won't let me get into a, a bad place as a younger player. But also I, I talked a little bit, but I listened an awful lot. And again, those are the skills that through our conversation, I've heard you, you know, talk about. Those are the skills that you already possess. The things that you possess that made you a, a rookie, a freshman, and had to work your way through injury and adversity to get to the point where you're a senior captain, use those same qualities, those same skill set that you use throughout that process to communicate, to learn, to make yourself better, to make yourself prepared to be able to, 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 to lead. Those are the skills that I would say are gonna lead you throughout your, your work world. It's just a different dynamic now, right? It's a different place that you're using those skills. If you use those skills, I think you'll be super successful. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, Joelle, you've told us a story about coming back from injury. That's resiliency. You told us your focus, being able to go to school, start as a freshman, not really playing a lot, to be a senior captain. Now you're going to grad school. And you talked about teamwork, taking yourself out of it and your success but you want to make your team better. That's how you help your players in front of you make your team better. You also talked about communication. You learn and have taken everything from the athletic world that make you much more successful in your work environment. And I'm super excited for you. I'm happy that you've learned those things because those are the skill sets that will help you be a great employee, but also a great leader. And I'm super excited about your future and what you're going to do as these days continue to roll high. Thank you so much. Thank you.